Hello everybody and Hello. welcome to a new vlog. Um, so hopefully things will move a lot quicker now because yes. as you can see, well we'll go in there and have a look in a moment, but I'm going to turn the camera around and answer a viewer question. The viewer comment was, I'm sorry I can't remember your name who it was, but they said what about the insulation? So the answer is you have an outer brick skin here, which is the bricks that has been very carefully matched to the existing, bearing in mind those are from 1946. Then you have an inner breeze block skin, which you can see here. And then you have the insulation in the middle. So the insulation is this kind of foamy stuff. What would you call it? Describe it as? Yeah, so you can see it's all the way around. And there is also insulation boards as well, which I think go on the inside of, of there. So that is where the insulation goes. And then there's all insulation boards in the floor as well. So it's gonna be very, very warm and toasty. But yes, here we are in the extension again. Nothing much has gone on since since the end of the last vlog. But you can see where the sky Yes, if I stand back where we're gonna be going through into the main house, you can see the three big skylights, which are gonna be let, so, let in so much light. Yeah. And obviously you've got our big sort of window bifold doors over there. Um, but like, like we said in the previous floor, it's going to make so much difference once this wall comes out because you'll be able to go all the way down into the old part of the house. So that will make a huge difference. Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah, we're just enjoying all the bird noise as well because there's so many birds. We've just seen two robins. Oh, there's a robin. You can see him now. If I try and zoom in, sorry if it's gone blurry. Mm. But you can see the robin. Um, we've actually seen two robins, haven't we? Yeah. So, so many birds, you can hear them all tweeting, and they're even up on the roof as well. But we have checked, so don't worry, we've checked in the roof, in the loft, and they haven't gone in. They've just gone under the initial tiles, so not really an issue. Right, so, we are going to get some some cream <laughs> and a few other things from the local supermarket, and we've, we're taking Bo! <laughs> He's just in there, can you just see him? Um, so yes, we, you're going to the supermarket, sweetie. Yes, you are. Are you ready? Hi. Hi, Hi. everybody. We are in the house, as you can yeah. see. And, well, I'll show you in a minute. It's a bit of a mess in this kitchen. Yeah. And we've been wondering for a while what to do with this kitchen, because obviously we're not keeping this one, we're having a new one. We decided to put it on Facebook Marketplace and it sold. So hey. uh, someone is going to come and collect it very, very shortly. The builder is going to take it all off the wall. Yeah. But you'll see in a moment, we can't sell it in this state no. <laughs> because it oh, needs. Oh, oh. there's been a lot of stuff going on in yeah. here. It's been a storage area. So we need to get it all cleaned up. I'll just show you what, what the job is. Well, you can see the <laughs> level of dust on this worktop. This, that, all of that has come from this little hole where the builder was putting in the lintel um, for the new toilet door. But yeah, this all needs cleaning. I mean, there's all this to sort out. I mean, look, just look at all this. And the floor. I mean, hopefully the person buying the kitchen might also want the lino floor. You don't know. We don't know. But yeah, look, look at the state. So... So yes, we need to get cracking. I, we've brought some stuff. We've brought a mop and bucket and we've brought some cleaning things. I think the first thing is to hoover the floor, I think, and get rid of all the bits. Right, so stage one, we've cleared the surfaces. So everything we think we or the builder might need, we've put on the work, on the windowsill. But of course, that's going to have to move anyway because when the window comes out and that, that whole wall, that'll all have to find a new home, but that's fine. We have um, got a plumber on board that's going to remove the boiler. That is disconnected, so that's completely um, null and void at the moment. But yeah, so we're boiling a kettle of water because there is no hot water. So we're going to put some, just some regular floor cleaner in this bowl, and then we're going to do the worktops with, with that. I'm, it's just normal flash, just in case you were wondering, but I have brought some Sif cream as well, and some polish and all kinds of things. So yeah, let's get cleaning. That's fine, right. So we put some Sith cream on the stainless steel, giving it a scrub with a big scourer. Look at the colour of this water. That's just after we've... <laughs> I mean, there is a big, huge difference. It looks really good. Um, but look at the colour of the water. <laughs> but yeah. There we go. Riveting content, cleaning the sink. This, this is what you all come for. It is. This is what keeps you coming back <laughs> week after week. 
to see us. Actually, it's very therapeutic. Don't you think it's satisfying? It is because I'm the one doing it. <laughs> I know, but it's very big these days. Satisfying content with things like cleaning. Yeah. Mmm, very good. Oh yes, get in there. <laughs> give it a squeeze. Woo. Okay, so we've used the good old Henry Hoover to give the floor a good old Hoover vacuum. <laughs> And then I've done that, and then Matt's you doing the mopping. Bit. What did I miss? Something rattled. There is probably a loose stone. There were so many stones in oh, here. Of course, these things. You can can't, you? can you? You can't. You can't Absolutely that. can't. So the mopping is being done. I think mopping is supposed to be in a figure of eight. I was told by a professional cleaner. What, like? Yeah, that's it. Like a figure of eight. It's lino that's probably going in the bin. I'm not going to waste time and <laughs> effort <laughs> doing that. What we all know is just going to get money again within me. Well, after I've proven my job as supervisor, <laughs> I am in a supervisory capacity. Actually, now, when it was hoovered, it wasn't too bad, No, was it? No. Got all the steam coming off the floor because it's so cold outside. Um, but yeah, no, so this, this should do someone really good. We don't know if it's going to a rental or whether it's going to someone's private house, home, we don't know. But it will do someone some good. So rather than it being skipped, yeah. it gets to go. There we go. So we can't walk on the floor because it's still wet. Um, but it's clean yeah. and all the worktops are clean. So, I'm just wondering what we should do next. Probably move this upstairs. Yes. Mm. Okay, let's go through here then and show people what we need to do. <laughs> okay. So all these boxes in here are mainly for the bathroom upstairs. So we've got the shower stuff over here. All these need moving upstairs. And we've got the downstairs shower, um, downstairs water closet stuff here. If I just open them, get some light in. And we also need to sell this fireplace as well. And that needs to go. Ooh, let's look through the hatch to see our beautiful handiwork in this kitchen. Look how much clean that is. That's amazing. Oh, this is the aftermath. I am so sweaty. We moved all these boxes upstairs and it was not. Some of them are quite heavy yeah. and awkward. So, uh, we need a rest. We do. I think mission accomplished for this day. Though. Yes. <laughs> right, so we now have roof things going on. We actually have some, uh, what I think is the, the beginning of the roof felt and everything going on. So that's looking good too. Okay, so the kitchen is all out. <laughs> it's the builder's taking it off the wall. Oh, missing the door. Oh yeah, well he might have actually took that off because to get yeah. the kitchen through because it would have been awkward. Um, but yeah. Ah, there it is. So, so yeah, the, the old kitchen is gone. It's ready to be collected by its new owner who's coming on Saturday. Also, you can see that the, um, what's it called? Like a, it's, it's, it's not felt, but it's like the lining of the roof is on. So the tiles go on top of that. So yes, this is... Okay, so just a little bit of a history of the house that's been uncovered. So we think these are um, tiles, and they feel like proper tile tiles. Um, that's, I think, the original concrete base. But also, under this lino, under this vinyl, there's old vinyl <laughs> that's like in strips. So there we go, that's kind of a bit of history of the house being revealed. It's revealing its secrets. Okay, so the old kitchen is being stored in what is our living room. <laughs> so yes, this is all ready for collection now. So I hope the new owner will be happy with it. But yeah, that's um, goodbye kitchen. I spoke to the builder and um, he's agreed to put in a loft hatch, one of those slightly longer ones with a ladder already attached. So I've ordered one last night and just checked the measurements <laughs> to make sure it was gonna fit and it does. So I did good, I think. Yay, we have roof line. <laughs> wow. Okay, so the skylights hasn't, haven't been cut through yet, so it's just gone across the whole the whole top. But this is basically the... Um, that's the, These are the batons which the tiles attach to. So 
That's looking quite good. See if I can have a look out. There we go. Well, oh my goodness, Matt's just spotted something. I don't think it's on yet. No, but it's our first tile. Our first tile. <laughs> ah, that's a moment. No, I don't think it's been attached properly, but that is the first tile that's on the roof. Because I thought it would have faced <sighs> that way, not that way. No, it's no, it's that way, because that's where the water runs off, I think. Well, anyway, it's not on properly, but the, there is one tile on the roof. <gasps> Yay, right, let's go in. <laughs> wow. Ah, <gasps> uh, it looks different again. It does. <laughs> it looks very different. Doesn't Yeah. <laughs> Me too, because we've, we've enclosed it more, but yeah, it seems bigger. Um, maybe because you can almost hear a bit of an echo. Yeah. A little bit. Nice. So obviously they need to cut the, the bits out where the roof lights are. But wow. This is amazing. Yeah. Wow. It looks so big. It does look massive. I'm going to get a photo. Ah, just doing some shopping. So what have we got so far? We've got some carrots and some sausage rolls. Some veg. There, there is veg in there. <laughs> right, so do we need another bread, don't we, I think? Hi everyone, we're back home. Um, and we've just done the or I've just done the patrons live chat. So every week I do a chat for the patrons. The link is in the description. If you feel like joining me every week, every Thursday at 7 pm. So Matt's been cooking dinner whilst I've been doing that. So would you like to tell everyone what it is? It's a bolognese pasta bake. Okay, so you saw this on a recipe, because we were looking for something different to make, weren't we? Yes. So, but there is one slight difference. I've got to stuff all the pasta. Yes, with this mascarpone and, yeah. and um, mozzarella. Mozzarella, yeah. It's a mix. And garlic and pepper. Yeah, but these pasta shells, cooked, were supposed to be bigger, but we couldn't find them, could we? No. We looked everywhere, several shops, and so Matt's now got to stuff lots of tiny ones. Isn't it a good job I've got to help her? Oh, I don't... See, if it was me, I would just... See, the bolognese sauce, which is over here, is supposed to go on the bottom. Then you're supposed to put these stuffed pasta shells yeah. on the top. But because they're going to take so long to do, I would just <laughs> spread the mix on top of the bolognese and then just put them on the top and then put cheese on the top it won't take that long though. okay he said <laughs> i bet you get bored after 10 i'm on six so okay it's all right <laughs> it does look nice though mm. Mm, it smells delicious it could be weird what's in the bolognese uh peppers no not peppers carrots celery onion mince and tomato mm. some red wine yummy Trying to get rid of all the red wine of a crew. <laughs> Looks delicious. Yummy. And all the washing up's done as well. Yay. Okay, so, the, so we poured the bolognese into a pan. Look at all this stuff. Matt did it. I I'm did wrong. it. You didn't get bored after 10. It was quite therapeutic. <laughs> so now let's just layer these on the top, I guess. Yeah. Is there anything else on the top of these? Uh, some more cheese. <laughs> more cheese. So more yes. cheese. So it's very calorie free. Yes, it's good for you. Well, it's, it's, it's diet food. It's 30% less fat mascarpone. So. <laughs> that makes all the difference. And the meat was less than 5% fat. So there you go. It's diet food. It is. <laughs> Our advice is not to be taken. Mm. Matt did it. I did. Woo. To all the naysayers out there. <laughs> well... Anyway, it's done. Well, it's got, to be, it's got to be baked now, hasn't it? So baked in the oven for how long? Uh, 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Woo! Hi all, we are out on a little road trip and there is some snow on the on the little, I, I don't want to call it a mountain. Is it classed as a mountain? I have no idea. Maybe it's just a big hill, but there is some snow on it. Um, and we're in the countryside and we're driving to our next destination. Um, it is to do with show homes, so look up, look out for some upcoming show home tours. But I just thought I'd show you this beautiful scenery. Isn't it gorgeous? Um, it's actually not not too cold today. It's actually five, well, it's about five degrees. Yeah. So it is still cold, but it's really sunny, which looks really good. Really so I thought we'd just show you the scenery. Um, we've we've actually got about another hour in the car to get to our next destination. So on these very narrow country roads, very windy. Um, it's nice winter scenery. Back 
from our little road trip <laughs> expedition and we've come back to the house. It's Friday, so the builder only does half day, but look, we have an actual row of tiles. If you can Almost. just about see, <laughs> almost a whole row of tiles, which is really good. Um, and the beginning of the second row as well. So hopefully next week, really all the roof tiles should be on and done. Maybe the Velux is in. The next day and we are getting rid of the kitchen units we that are. were in the old part of the kitchen. <laughs> but we're just, we've just been saying how big this extension is because Matt's obviously six foot, three, three and a bit <laughs> maybe. And just look, even he looks small <laughs> in it. <laughs> so... <laughs> Wee, the extension makes us look skinny. <laughs> Woo. Uh, but yeah, when this wall is out, we just really can't wait. But also, we've noticed something. So from the kitchen island, which will be here, when this wall is out, and it's not just the window, it's like the whole bit across here as well, you will be able to look and see out of the window that's over there. Um, so you will have a view, an outside view, from the kitchen island, because we are going to have a glass panel door. So that will be really nice. Okay, so it's time to end this week's update vlog. Um, thank you for watching. Yeah. I know it's been, again, another little bit of a bitty one. We've had some cooking. By the way, the food was nice. We forgot to vlog the finished thing. Oh, we did. It was lovely. <laughs> so we wouldn't make that again. Um, so if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to share on social media. And also do hit the bell so you know whenever we upload a new update video. So from us, to you all, and goodbye.